Hey, party people, today I'm in desperate need of your help. And if you help me, you might actually end up on TV. So, you gotta tell me, what do you have on hand for your kids that they can grab? What do you make ahead of time with just a few ingredients that are healthy-ish? Also, bonus points if it's filling, it will keep them away from you for about an hour. <laughs> oh Why are God. they so hungry all the time? Well, you heard it there and you delivered. Chef Janet Lochran is here with some of your suggestions to get us through this busy snacking season. And Kelly, this was actually your idea. You guys coordinated on this one. It was. We're a dream team as always. But I said, <laughs> um, the, Nora's home, my six-year-old is home from kindergarten, and I can't even believe how hungry she I don't Why? understand how the hunger goes up once they're out of school, but I think they just know that they can get it. And yeah. They're eating me out of house and oh, already. 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 So we got some really great suggestions yeah, from people. And, and this first one, the yogurt berry bites, was recommended by, and this was on Instagram, Kath Thomas 330 mm -hmm. So like this is Kath. very easy. And what's nice is all of these things with a little bit of supervision, they can do these things. Yeah. And if you also want to make sure that you make these in bulk, so you don't have to keep doing it over and over because they're freezable. Better. Right. Okay. So what we're going to first start with are these right here, the Froyo bites. And the bottom mm. just consists of any nuts that you have. These are almonds. And we need to kind of crush those. And this is is a good way to get out some aggression. Uh, oh, you, you want another you snack? This? Great. Wait, what I was just that? finished doing the dishes. You're, just, you're hungry sure. again. <laughs> yeah, great. So I got that started for you, but if you want to add that to the bowl, I also have, I want you to She's like, this. you don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> it's good. I just Sorry. want to show them the kids. All right, so smell this. This is coconut sugar. Oh, wow. Right? It has like a nutty, like brown Ooh. sugar flavor to it. And yeah. it's not as refined as white sugar. If you want to use white sugar, go right ahead. Sure. But this is kind of, you know, low crunchy. I've never heard of coconut oh, sugar before. Oh, it's actually pretty easy to find, believe it or not. Wow. We have some melted butter. You could also do melted uh, coconut oil if you wanted to. Okay. Make it a little Keep healthier. Keep going. So basically, you mix that up. And then if you have your kids spoon them, we have, this is a silicone mold here. And a beautiful one of that. I love that. I left one in there because I'm going to I'm gonna release it. It's very satisfying. Oh, I love, love that. Good. Yeah. Uh, you, if you don't have one of these, just use cupcake liners and a regular cupcake um, muffin tin. So. And then you get some fresh fruit. So once we put the bottom. Right, once we put it on the bottom. Here, I'll, how about you get that out? I'll spoon it in. And then. <laughs> oh, I got squirt. it. Don't worry, I and got this. Is, this. is this just yogurt or do you put, what do you put in it? I put a little bit of honey in there. Okay. Because I use plain Greek yogurt, so I actually can use it in savory dishes as well, and Perfect. it's not vanilla. But if you want to get vanilla, get vanilla. Oh my goodness. So yeah, and then you just put any berries you want to on there, freeze it for about four to five hours, and then look how pretty. Um, I also thought- Oh like, my God, my talk about satisfying. My kids aren't huge nut eaters oh, yet, but I'll, you could probably also do like a graham cracker or something on the bottom if you wanted something oh, just to layer mm, it, right? Oh, pretzels. Or you pretzels. Could, I just thought about pretzels. Perfect. That would be cool These are too. so good. Um, <sighs> and next up we have the carrot cake protein balls. This was recommended by Heidi uh, Nicole, Nicole Brown. Yes. I love these. I made these all the time when I was uh, nursing. Mm -hmm. I made the protein. Oh yeah, the yes. little bite and you, oh, yeah, and you put them in the the freezer. They're amazing. Pull them out and just maybe a couple of minutes, you can just yeah. munch on them, and they keep you full. All right, so what we have in the bowl here, I don't know if you could see, we have uh, oats, we have peanut butter. You could also use almond butter. We also have uh, ground coconut there, okay. and then here is our carrot. And what I've done is I have used the small part of the box grater so that the kids can't see it at all. It's excellent. Just, I mean, can you see them in the balls? Like, no. it's, yeah. So that just melts right in there. <laughs> Because, like you said, doesn't your daughter, your daughter call them leaves? Yeah. If she says any, sees anything if green. If she sees anything green, yeah. leaves, get them out. I don't want the outside of my food, Mom. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. We have vanilla extract. And then this is cool. Okay, so this is cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. But smell that. That's pumpkin pie spice. Oh, yes, it so is. So you know how we use the pumpkin oh. pie spice around the holidays? Yes. And it sits in, use it for this. And that's really what's going to make it kind of uh, taste and smell like that carrot cake that you're used to. Yeah. Yes. We have some raisins. People are very hot and cold on raisins. Oh, we Use love them. them. Craisins would be nice too. And then this is where we get our protein. This is just protein powder, vanilla oh flavored God. protein powder. And this is what's going to keep them full, yes. satiated, and you know, obviously protein is good. So once you get that mixed, you would just use an ice cream scooper. An ice cream scooper. I know this is rather small, but if you just want to use a spoon, and then what they would do if you want to scoop, that's pretty good for now, I okay. think. And then if you want to scoop, you would just put them on here roll it together, make them nice and pretty, and then just put it in the refrigerator and you're good to go. I love this. Go. If there yeah. is no <laughs> oven involved, I feel like I can do it. Exactly. Even better. Right. <laughs> okay, and then last but not least, this is my favorite thing. Any smoothie can become a popsicle. 
What? Great, love it. Yeah. Perfect. So we have a half of a fresh uh, pineapple there. You can use frozen, you can use canned. This is kale, but let me show you really quickly. If you take this piece off here, it's not gonna be as fibrous, okay? There so we, we took that little piece off. And then we're gonna Put throw the in the banana. banana. Hide right. the leaves from the children. Exactly. Okay. And then we just have a couple more things. We have some honey, which is not coming out. Oh. <laughs> we have some Greek yogurt. How fast can we do this? I know, we're running out of time. Okay. Flax seed, and we put that on and you whir it up. And basically what you can do is we have popsicles here. You can even use like your bourbon. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Maggie. <I'm> not... <laughs> This is what it looks like when I cook in my it's house. Chaos. I always feel like. <laughs> Woo! Hi, hello. Why is it I doing always, that? I always feel. Ah! <laughs> Let's I unplug broke it. it. I broke it. Okay, no, it's possessed. All and right, then now so, yeah. you have, and you pour them in there, you freeze them. It's great. If you would like to bookshop Janet for a cooking <laughs> lesson or a small catering event, we'll link you up on our website, kdka.com/slash talk. We'll be right back. <laughs>